So I thought I would spend the day walking you guys through my garden. Um, I planted this probably about a month or so ago and it is really taking off. So let me just walk you through and introduce you to everybody. We got some lavender right here. I love lavender. You can take this and put it in tea if you want to or just it's, it's a pretty fragrance. Very nice. Uh, I really, so I grew up on a farm where um, my grandparents and great grandparents grew a lot of corn and a lot of their own crops. And I just remember whenever we needed something, uh, whether it was eggs or, you know, zucchini, onions, we just go out back and we would grab whatever we needed right off of our own land. And that's something I've always been fond of, just being able to be self-sufficient and self-sustaining. You can see my scarecrows over here waving around. So let's see what we got. We got some basil right here, some sweet basil. We have some sweet mint. I love herbs. Rosemary, always one of my favorites. Um, some garden sage. We have some peppermint. And in this trough, I've been growing raspberries for a while and they started to sprout. So I just transferred them and brought them outside in this trough today uh, to give them some more sunlight and so they can take off. And as they get bigger, I have a trellis that I'll put them up because they grow up like a vine and I'll put them up on there. And then in this pot, we're gonna have some bell peppers coming in, some yellow, red, and orange bell peppers. I just planted those last week, so those will come up soon. We have our cilantro over here. It's time for me to clip that because it's starting to, turn and I don't want my cilantro to go bad. That's how we get all of our heavy metals out of our body. Uh, this one's not edible, but it's our, God, what's the name of this thing? I'm losing track. Um, citronella, I had to smell it. It's our citronella and citronella smells so good. This one was dying, but it's come back and started to bloom. Over here, we have several different types of tomatoes. You can see there, they're coming in. I was a little bit worried about this one because it was looking a little sickly, but you can see she's come back from the dead and she's doing pretty well. A uh, bunch of cherry tomatoes coming in here. Uh, let's go up top. I have some sweet potatoes coming in. Uh, I put marigolds in my garden. It's time to replant some more uh, because they die pretty quickly, but marigolds help to keep the pest away. We also got some spiders in here too and some ladybugs somewhere. I put some ladybugs down to help control the pest and most of the ladybugs died because we had a lot of rain and stuff last week. But anyway, so here is some garlic. I made the mistake of digging it up too soon and I had to replant it, but our garlic is coming in. Here we have four stalks of corn that's coming in. Um, these little holes here, I just planted today there's uh, one, two, three, four um, white potatoes. So those will be coming in soon. And then here we have zucchini squash, which I'm waiting for that to pop off. Broccoli, and as you can see, there's a lot of little broccoli sprouts that are coming up, heads of broccoli. We have onions here. So those are gonna come in pretty nicely. More tomatoes love tomatoes and we have spinach now this spinach i clip it every single week i just clipped this a few days ago last week and you can already see they grow back in really fast so i'm really really proud of that and then strawberries uh, the strawberries are actually really sweet uh, they've been coming in pretty nicely so yeah so i'm um i'm pretty excited about the garden so Feel free to leave some suggestions in the comments or some uh, some of the things that you have growing in your garden or if you're interested in gardening. If you have questions, I will tell you. I am not the subject matter expert on gardening, but this is what uh, this is what I've been able to do and I can you know help with what I know. But I just thought I would share this with you guys and hopefully you all can start growing some gardens of your own. Enjoy.